At the National Day celebrations on Saturday, we'll also see a performance by Taiwan's Air Force. That's right. Now, the Air Force has been very busy lately. They have been busy intercepting Chinese planes that have been entering Taiwan's airspace. Five AT-3 jet trainers fly in formation over the presidential office on Tuesday in preparation for the National Day celebrations. Helicopters fly overhead, showcasing the national flag as well. The display is a demonstration of Taiwan's determination to defend itself. Chinese aircraft have been entering Taiwan's airspace at an alarming rate. The Navy has dispatched boats more than 7,500 times this year. That's 1,600 more times than last year. The Air Force has also deployed planes 2.3 times more than it did last year. These flights have cost nearly 140 million U.S. dollars this year. Premier Su Jianchang says with the Chinese war plans nearing Taiwan, these costs are necessary to protect Taiwan's national security. Military expert Zhang Jiwen urged the military to strike a balance between national security and the economy, perhaps by including the Navy in its maneuvers. In any case, Taiwan's Air Force is standing by for any situation. In light of increased tensions, ET Today did a survey last week asking people in Taiwan how willing they would be to go to war, and there were some interesting results. 45% said they're willing to have themselves or a family member fight in a war for Taiwan. 96% of 18 to 19 year olds are willing. And 67% want to return to the two year compulsory service. Right now it's only four months. Also very interesting is 52% said women should be required to serve in the military too. And in case you're wondering about the gender breakdown for that one, 56% of men agree, while 48% of women agree that women should be required to serve in the military. I was really surprised how many people support women being in the military. Mm, I was surprised too. Do you guys think that women should be required to be in the military just like men? I think that in terms of gender equality, it would be great if both men and women were required to do some form of service. So national service, it doesn't necessarily have to be military service, um, but there would be options for both men and women. That's interesting. What about you? I, um, I'm inclined to agree with Andrew, but at the same time, I did do my service. So viscerally, it feels like kind of like a get even type thing. Like <laughs> I did it, so everybody <laughs> else should do it. So I'm, uh, I'm going to bow out of this conversation. <laughs> it's very touchy, especially mm. if you say gender equality. Because mm. I think women, they have other responsibilities, like they have to bear children. They, they don't have to. Oh, they don't have children. to, but they usually end up bearing <laughs> children and doing a lot more child care, domestic care than the men do. Of course, that's a wholly different topic. Mm -hmm. And then you need to look at um, the low birth rate, aging society, if that would affect all of that, right? Yeah. So like from a bigger point of view. But I think women going to the military is great training, I think, for the women, um, for people in general as citizens. I think it's a great idea. Absolutely. So. I have a lot of thoughts about that. A lot of thoughts what, about that. What yeah. do you think? Let us know. We'd love to know what you think. Should women be required to serve in the military? Leave a comment below.